Hello you, whoever you are, and welcome to my channel. Ignore the fact that I look like a freakazoid right now. I'm in a disguise, okay? I don't want to reveal my hair yet, and plus it's wet, so there's no point. Anyway, moving on. I want to say a quick thank you to my newest subscriber, Trinity. She's an absolutely beautiful friend of mine, and I really appreciate her subscribing to my channel. Thank you, Trinity. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> so, the video for today, I... Decided to do my hair, which for whatever reason, when I decide to record it, it never turns out the way I want. Big surprise, that's just my luck, I guess. I decided to do, or attempt to do, a green and pink gradient hair color. I had considered doing one half green, one half pink, and thought, screw it, I'll try something different. I used the Arctic Fox Phantom Green, the Overtone Deep Conditioner in Rose Gold for brown hair, as well as some Tresemme Conditioner to mix with the Rose Gold. Those were the hair dyes that I had used. Previous to doing this, I'd washed my hair with just shampoo, as directed. <laughs> I went around my face, my ears, and neck and stuff like that with some Vaseline first, because I didn't want to stain my skin, but freaking no gloves because we're gonna make it obvious that we just did our hair apparently. <laughs> so I started off with sectioning my hair. I wanted to do it so that each layer that I went up I had had more pink and I just started out with the green and then I'd wipe off my hands and then I'd put the pink at the tips of my hair and go from there. That's all I really need to say. I did take a video of it so you guys can watch obviously as you probably are right at this moment and I will leave you to it then and see you in a couple minutes. So after I finished putting the dye on my hair, I washed my hair about 20 minutes after or something like that. I washed up my hair and I immediately noticed that something that I had been aware that could have happened, happened. The pink ended up being muddied and that happened because pink and green aren't exactly complementary colors, they're contrasting colors. So I knew there'd be the chance that it would muddy it or the green that I used 
has a blue base to it. It seems obviously it must because my fingers are going blue. I also knew that it could turn slightly purple. Either it would be like slightly silver, brown, or purple. I knew one of those things were probably gonna happen. I was hoping for the pink, but yeah, between the colors that I picked and the fact that the pink was toned down with conditioner, making it not as vibrant as the green was. It was a risk, but apparently a risk I was willing to take, so can't blame anybody but myself. Now I'll show you guys what's going on here. So this is it after I washed it. You can see that the pink isn't really pink, it's just like, I don't know, a brownish color, I guess. I noticed some spots were a little more pink than others, but then some almost seemed slightly purple too, so I don't know what the hell. I'm gonna dry my hair though to see what it'll actually look like while it's dry and then I will be right back. Okay, my hair is mostly dry now. I'm actually surprised with how much more pink it is than I thought it was going to be. It's it's still not that pink, unfortunately. I think I might try to add in some more pink that's not as diluted with conditioner tomorrow and then see how it goes and put it down in the comments below if it went well or not and put a picture on Instagram or something if it goes well for evidence. Oh, and one other thing I wanted to add as well. I did not start off with like a blank slate of hair. My hair was already colored as you see in this video. It still had some of the residue from when I I messed up trying to make it a pink brown and ended up going green instead. It was, it's, yeah, it still had some of that color left over. So that also contributed to this happening. But yeah, like some of it is okay. Some spots are more pink than others. Gonna try to fix it, hopefully. I do have to work tomorrow. Why I do these things right before I gotta go to work, I'm not sure. Yeah, hopefully you can fix it. <laughs> Anyway, I think that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you, again, learn from my mistakes because I am so good at doing that. Thank you for stopping by and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!